Hello everybody, today we have a beautiful gaming laptop, Asus ROG Zephyrus M16. It's an Intel Core i9 13th gen laptop with beautiful graphics, RTX 4070. So we'll take it apart, we'll check what we can uh, upgrade, fix, replace. Let's start. Okay, let's take out all the bottom screws. Okay, two more screws are here. And this rubber foot. Okay, now let's lift the bottom case. So find the gap where you can put your prying tool. Use only plastic prying tool, otherwise you will scratch the other parts. Okay, once you have the gap, you can open the bottom case. Here we have the part number. So, Okay, now we have access to all internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. So to disconnect this battery, you have to slide this metal piece down and then you can pull it up the connector. Now let's take out the screws for the battery. is out so we can easily replace it if your laptop doesn't hold the charge anymore or the battery is swollen now let's see our memory so one slot is empty the other ones has memory spread the arms and then you can take out the memory it's a 16 gigabyte ddr5 memory so you can upgrade it or replace it if it doesn't work here we have our storage, that's our SSD drive, so we can replace it or upgrade it if needed. So that's our drive, that's the NVMe drive. Now we can take out our Wi-Fi card, so if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace it. Take out one screw here. Now we can take it out. That's our Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model number, part number. Now let's disconnect the speaker. So the speaker speaker is here by, held by rubber grommets only so if it doesn't work you can replace it that's another speaker part of the cable goes under the motherboard so we will pull it out later once we take out the motherboard so let's take out the cooling heatsink and fan assembly let's start with the single fan so 
If your cooling is bad or laptop or the fan is making grinding noise, you can replace it. That's our first fan, disconnected from the motherboard. Now let's unscrew all the screws for the other two fans and for the heat sink. Okay, now gently lift the heat sink and fan. Be careful, don't bend the heat sink or it will not work anymore. So the video cable is routed here through the heat sink, so it's disconnected. Now we can pull out the heat sink. Okay. Here we have the part number. And also our two fans. Okay, now let's disconnect the DC power jack and we can attempt to take out the motherboard. Oh, disconnect the keyboard connector and our motherboard is out two more connectors for the touchpad okay that's our motherboard so the graphics gpu and the processor are soldered on the motherboard you cannot replace it you would have to replace the whole motherboard. Here we have the part number. So now we can take out our speakers. There is a little bit of, of adhesive underneath, so gently take it out. Okay, those are our speakers, so if your sound is bad, you can replace them. Now, let's unscrew the hinges so we can take out the DC power jack.
Now open the laptop to unfold the hinge. Now we can take it out. So that is our DC jack. So if that part is broken or your laptop is not getting power, replace it. Here we have the part number. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. So now we have our keyboard touchpad assembly with the power button. So the power button board, the keyboard and the touchpad, they could be replaced if you need it. They all are held by screws only. Okay, now we have our screen assembly left. Screen is very fragile, usually sold as the whole piece with the cover. So if you need your parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And here on the video cable, we have the part number for the screen. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.